Hello everyone, welcome to the video series starting with Python and Oracle database. In this video series, we will introduce you to our latest major release of Oracle's Python interface or driver to Oracle database called Python Oracle DB. This short video will give you an overview on the new release including the architecture and future plans. In the upcoming videos, we will do a deep dive into the features of Python Oracle DB and then show you some examples. So what is Python Oracle DB? It is Oracle's Python driver for accessing Oracle database and comes equipped with exciting and brand new features. Earlier our Python driver was called CX underscore Oracle for historical reasons. But now in addition to all the exciting new features that comes with any big release, we have a brand new and easily relatable name for the driver as well. The main highlight of this iteration is a thin mode that does not need Oracle client libraries, meaning your installation and configuration got that much easier. In addition, you get much more storage and performance benefits from the thin mode as well. So essentially, Python Oracle DB is a thin driver by default with an optional thick mode. So Python Oracle DB driver enables direct access to the Oracle database through its thin mode to the Python application users. The database can be on the same machine as the Python application or it can be remote. Talking about the thick mode. The thick mode makes use of Oracle client libraries for additional functionality, making it comparable to the earlier CX Oracle version functionalities. We know you want all the available features from, from the earlier version to be in thin mode so that you don't require Oracle client libraries, but that is an ongoing project with us. So in the meantime, please make use of all the features that are available in the thin mode. So the implementation of Python Oracle DB includes a new Python top layer and the lower layers are in Cython, which is a programming language designed to extend C functionalities and bring in C's runtime efficiencies into Python. So here are some things you need to know about the latest rename release. Python Oracle DB has been built uh, as binary wheel packages for Linux, Windows and Mac OS with varying support for Python versions from version 3.6 to 3.10 across different platforms. Python version 3.6 is not being maintained by the community, although Oracle Linux 8 still supports it. The thin mode of Python Oracle DB can be used in platforms where instant client cannot be used. Example on Alpine Linux, Apple M1, FreeBSD, IoT, etc. For Python database API version 2 specifications, they are supported by both the thin and the thick modes. There are a few exceptions. For example, Oracle database does not have the time data type. So even Python Oracle DB does not support any time data type. However, the support for the version 2 specification means that other frameworks and ORMs such as Django, SQL Alchemy, Pandas, etc. can still work with a shim code until the maintainers of these respective frameworks add their native support for Python Oracle DB. Finally, talking about the licenses, Python Oracle DB is dual licensed and it has both the universal permissive license, UPL and Apache 2 license. Moving on to the install of Python Oracle DB, you can do a simple pip install to download the pre-built wheel binary package from the PyPy repository, or you can download the source code from GitHub and then do a Python compile. So the Python Oracle DB package has a dependency on Python's cryptography package which in turn depends on CFFI and PyC parser package. Approx overall, the approximate size of Python Oracle DB, let's say in Mac OS platform is 15 MB. In Windows, it might be 20 or 25 MB. Make sure that you have the cryptography package up to date for Python Oracle DB. So optional install of Oracle client libraries will give you the additional functionality of Oracle DB, which we talked about earlier, but it will make the footprint bigger. Going forward, we'll continue major releases and bug fixes for Python Oracle DB along with support for future Oracle database releases, of course. We have requested a number of other features which has been added to our wish list for the upcoming releases. For example, we know that async IO is a popular uh, framework requested by many of our users for its concurrency capabilities. Now with that we have the thin mode, this is now fe feasible and we have it in our to-do list for our upcoming packages. Talking about the new namespace and URLs for Python Oracle DB, this shows the uh, various announcement pages, the documentation pages, the GitHub and blog that will help you use Python Oracle DB. 
please do remember to check out the tutorial as well which will get you started with python oracle db that's it for the introduction presentation on python oracle db catch you all in the next video where i talk about the features of python oracle db thank you